Hi, it's Peter again, here with another new video. Another new video. <laughs> Seems like one every week. Um, anyway, this one is specifically to demonstrate a new feature or set of features that I've added for people who are using AVX or EVA or EVAN that are bilingual. And what it is, it's basically a way of allowing you to use um, the app the way it is right now with English, but when you're um, doing all your messaging, you can use your native language. So for example, if you're doing text messaging, email, chat messaging, like instant messaging, or you're posting or having it read your Facebook feed or Google Plus or Twitter, you can choose your native language. So say for example, um, you know, you, you live in France and you speak French, but you also speak English and you want to use the application, you can go ahead and uh, set it all up so you know you're still saying all your commands in English but you're doing all your messaging in French so anyway the first thing that you need to do if you want to do this is get yourself a decent um, text-to-speech voice in your language and I recommend the SVOX voices and you can try these out for free and I've shown them before on, on my other um, on my other apps or my other demos but say for example what I've done is uh, I went and got uh, uh, what was I got? Spanish, European Spanish. I think I got um, which one was it? I got I got French and I also got uh, Mexican Spanish. Those are the two that I installed. So, like for example, Angelica. There, you can listen to an ex a sample of that and I'll do that. Hola, soy la nueva voz de Android en español. Puedes utilizar mi voz natural para escuchar libros electrónicos, sistemas de navegación, traducciones y otras aplicaciones. Okay, exactly what she said. All right, um, and then you can, you can, you can, I've actually, because I've already downloaded it. Um, if you haven't downloaded, it'll say um, download a free trial, and that's what I've got right now is the 30 days. Uh, I think it's 30 and 14 day free trial. I think it is. Anyway. I've got the trial installed uh, that you can use without having to pay for anything and I, I also did that on the French voice and I've installed that and there's other videos on my on my uh, YouTube channel that show you how to set up one of these voices so anyway basically I've got the French one and the Spanish one but I'm just going to show you the Spanish one for the purpose of this demo so if we go back into um, the app here the yes, first, Peter. first thing I want to show you here your settings are displayed Tap on a category to make changes. If we go into the settings, what you'll see in email, text and voice messaging, instant messaging, Google+, Facebook and Twitter, so there's six different areas where this is valid, you'll see um, a new section here. So if I go in here, you'll see text language options. If I tap on that, it expands out and it shows me uh, incoming language, outgoing language, and then there's... Um, five different keywords there that you can adjust and what I've done is because this is profile dependent I actually have my home profile which is different than the default profile and I've gone and set that up with Spanish language so I can just switch profiles and all this stuff gets turned on and then I switch back to default and everything goes back to English so let me switch over to my home profile and I'll show you the difference so you see there and that was text messaging everything's still set to my default English stuff so if I switch over to the home profile you can see I've got a larger font on there and I've got the background text as white so there's a few different differences so then now that I've switched over if I open the settings again so they refresh your settings are displayed tap and I go into text and voice messaging and you see text language options again so tap on that you'll see I got to hear Spanish Mexico um, for both incoming and outgoing, so you can tap on those and choose the one that you want. And I did, like I said, I chose Spanish for Mexico in this case. And the same thing for your outgoing. So the incoming is basically anything that it's reading, and the outgoing is the voice recognition that it's going to use when it's listening to what you're saying for your message. And then with the keywords here, what you want to do is set up the keywords that are in the language of what you've chosen. So you know, I'm no expert on Spanish by any means whatsoever, and I just use Google Translate to get some of these words here. Um, so basically, for edit, I've got editar and so on for the different words. And if you want to have two different words or multiple different words um, for an option there, you can just separate them with a comma. And again, some of the words there, you may have two words that mean the one thing. So like again is de nuevo, 
um, at least from what I gathered. And so what what these keywords are for is when you're dictating a message, normally a text message or email or whatever, and you're saying a sentence, after you've said a sentence, you can say one of these different options. You might want to edit what you've got so far. You might want to say done to complete the message and send it. You may want to say select it if you don't think it heard you right, but one of the other options that was displayed there is the correct one. And again, if you want to repeat the last sentence and cancel, if you just want to cancel out the message. So what you need to do is for your language, go and put in the correct um, keywords in the language that we, you'll be using because the voice recognition is going to pick those up. It won't pick up the English ones. It may, it may in some cases, but it won't do it as accurately as picking up the ones in the language that you're actually speaking. Okay. So, and again, to, to change those, you know, you can just tap on that and it just pops up and you can just change it and then when you change it, just hit done. Okay. So you've saved that. And same, this is the same for if you're going into an uh, email, you'll see I've gone and set them all up um, in the email options, email language options here. Open that up and you'll see I've set, set it up the same way. And so I've done, done it for all the six different message types. Okay. So next thing that you want to do, well, let's try uh, sending myself a text message and I'll, you know, do it like I'm, like I'm speaking Spanish, right? So it won't be very pretty, but I'll try it. Yes, sir. Text Peter. New message to Peter Muller. What is the first sentence of the message you would like to send? Hola, como estas? Hola, como estas? Selecto, de nuevo, cancelar, editar. Bueno, ok. Bueno. Your message has been sent to Peter Muller. Success. <laughs> Alright, so it'll read that message in a second. When it comes back, and we'll see how it works. And you see it showed up the different options there of what to say. And you can turn that off if you know what they are later on. New text from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Would you like to reply to this message? Yes. New message to Peter Muller. What is the first sentence of the message you would like to send? Bien, bien. Bien, bien. Selecto. De nuevo. Cancelar. Editar. Bueno, ok. Cancelar. I have cancelled this text message. Okay, so I stopped it. Turn that off. Um, so basically, the one thing that I've found now is because I haven't been speaking Sp Spanish here, I'm basically starting from scratch with the voice recognition again in the Spanish language. And of course, like my Spanish is horrible. <laughs> so I'm not very good at this. But anyway, you get the idea. So this is basically how it works. And, uh, in the documentation of details, some of the little things that you cannot do that you could normally do, like you can't basically say text Peter and start speaking Spanish because it's expecting English. You have to actually say text Peter and then wait for it to prompt you. And it's the same when you're replying. You can't say reply and reel off the reply in Spanish. You have to say reply and then wait for it to prompt you. Okay? So that's kind of how that works. And sending an email is the same and posting to Facebook and Twitter and, and sending uh, instant text messages, um, sorry, instant chat messages is basically the same. And I'll show you, because I've got it set up for uh, Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter, we'll see what happens when I just say display the last post of each of those. Yes, Peter. Display the last Facebook message One post. Okay, so now it's, it's going to be in English because that person who's posting it is posting it in English, but it'll be read by the Spanish voice. But if all your friends are posting in Spanish, then it will read it correctly.
take it a while. Yes, Peter. Okay, to fix that. Getting stuck, but here it comes. Post by Ben Rodriguez two hours and seven minutes ago. No, yo sé, Teodor, o to sé. Te yo sé, to testa server, sabilite to stand extended exposure to extreme temperature. All right, you get the idea. It's basically reading it in English, but it's reading it using the Spanish voice. So if your friends are posting in Spanish, then it's obviously going to sound right and it's going to be read right. And it's the same with your, if your friends are posting to Google Plus or Twitter in, in, in Spanish or whatever language you've selected, it's going to work that way. So that's basically how it all works. And uh, hopefully um, it's some people find it useful. It took me a little while to put it in there. And um, it's a start. And, and like I say, it doesn't... It doesn't use anything to do with um, translation. You're simply dictating your messages and it's simply reading back what comes back for the language that you've selected. And once you've selected a language for a particular profile, it's going to always use that language for, for those messages. So it, it, it doesn't do anything where it automatically checks to see what the language is or tries to check that and read it correctly or whatever. This is specifically for people who are bilingual and, you know, want to use my application and are happy to use it in English but they do all of their messaging in their native language that, that's how I, that's the way I've designed this and that's the way it basically should be used otherwise you're trying to use it to do something it's not designed for so anyway if you like it please tell all your friends and help spread the word um, I really much appreciate that if you can do that thanks a lot